Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. So today, let's explore financial dimension nesting. I have made a video on account structure and advanced rules. So today, let's deep dive into nesting. So what do you understand by financial dimension nesting? So let's take an example, understand the nesting and then we'll configure the system. So let's say I have different dimensions. Let's take an example. Let's say I have financial dimension called department and uh, let's take another dimension called courses this i try to simplify to explain so let's say under department i have different dimension values like engineer and let's say i have business so engineering and business is my dimension values under a financial dimension department now I have another dimension called courses. So under that, let's assume I have multiple dimension values. So for engineering, let's say I have triple E, I have mechanical. Under business, let's say I have MBA and I have MCOM. <clears throat> so these are the different dimensions and dimension values. Now let's understand how financial dimension nesting works. So I will create a dimension and I'll create values. Likewise, I'll create courses as a dimension and I'll create these four values. Now, whenever I select engineering, I should be only seeing the values like triple E and mechanical. And whenever I select business, then I should be seeing MBA and MCOM. So this is called as financial dimension nesting. So let's go to the system. So I've already configured the dimensions and dimension values. So let's focus more on configuring the nesting rules. So let's go to chart of accounts, dimensions, financial dimensions. This is just to show the dimensions values, which is already configured. So if I come here and if I go to courses, which is one of my dimension, go to dimension values. Here I can see there is chart of account, uh, E, MBA, MCOM, mechanical. So these are my dimension values. So let's open one more dimension. So let me open department just to explore what's there under department. So if I go to department, then go to dimension values. So here I can see there is business, there is engineering and professional. So right now, if I assign these two dimensions to my account structure, if I select business as a dimension value, I would still be seeing all these values. So how do I restrict only MBA and MCON to my business? And for engineering, I should restrict triple E and mechanical. So let's explore that. So that is done through advanced account structure. Okay. So to work on advanced account structure, step one, you need to configure the rules. What are the rules that's required? And in step two, I need to link my advanced rules with account structure. So link. Let's explore step one. So step one is configured in advanced account structure. So let's go to advanced account structure, which is in general ledger, chat of accounts, structures, advanced rule structures. So click on that. Now, advanced rule structure is a shared page. So I will see a lot of other setups. Let's create a new. So click new. Let's give it a name, demo, and then click OK. So this is where my advanced rules is configured, which is related to my financial dimension nesting. So first to prepare nesting. So I need to prepare this sheet. So let's say I'll select business. Then I should allow MBA and MCOM. I should have engineering where I should allow triple E and mechanical. So first we need to add the dimension. Click add segment. Select the particular dimension. Let's say department Y and X. That's the one that I'm currently using. So I'm adding that. Click add segment. So my department is added. Whether you want it mandatory or optional, you can do it. Then again, click add segment. So I need courses as well because that is where my logic exists. So select courses at segment. Now let's put up the values. So first under department, 
I need engineering. Now you need to make sure you select a proper values. So it's better go to that particular dimension and then copy the value dimension value. It's not the description. You should focus on the dimension value. In case if you have a numerical value, let's say zero one and then engineering, make sure you add zero one in the advanced rules. So select engineering. So go to advanced rules, add department here. And for engineering, the allowed course one is triple E. So select the dimension value, add here. So I also need the second value to be allowed. So I cannot add multiple values in one line. So again, click add. Now under department, you can again add engineering. And here, what is the allowed course? So let's say it is mechanical. So let me take the dimension value and add mechanical. So now for engineering, mechanical and triple is allowed. Likewise, let's do for courses as well, or uh, the other value, let's say business. Let me take dimension value business, add in the advanced rules. So for business, I'm allowing MBA. So copy the MBA value, add it here. Again, click on add. So again, I need business because that's my department. And the other allowed value for business is MCOM. So I'll take value again from MCOM or for MCOM add here and so if you now see for engineering triple E and mechanical is allowed and for business MBA and MCOM is allowed. So once you prepare the list now click on activate. So it will get activated in the back end so click activate and let's wait for the status to get active. So once the status is active only then I can assign this in my account structure. So remember, there are two steps. Step one, creating a rules, which we just did. Step two is to link the rules in my account structure. So step two is configured in the account structure. So go to account structure, general ledger, structures, then account structure. So select the account structure where you want to configure the advanced rules. So I'll just one account structure, which I'm picking here. I've already added department and courses to this particular account structure. Now let's see how I can link the nesting, that is my advanced rules. So click on, okay, before clicking on advanced rules, click on edit. It will go to draft stage. And once it goes to draft state, now click on advanced rules. Click new. So give a particular name, let's say I'm just keeping it as demo. Give it this rule name and then click create. So here I've added the advanced rules name. Now, if this rule should be applied for a specific set of main accounts, you can add criteria or if it's allowed or uh, applicable for the complete set of account structure, you don't need to fill any criteria. But under advanced rule structure, click add. Here, you will get a list of advanced rules which is configured. So we configured demo advanced structures select that and click add so the account advanced structures which we configured demo is added here once you add here click on the back arrow so now you can see no advanced rules criteria was specified that is because i am not specifying any set of main accounts i am taking it for the complete main accounts and that's why it's warning message which is fine click close so once i link the advanced rules Let's activate the dimension. So click activate. So once the account structure is active, now let's go for transactions. So go to general ledger, general entries, general journals. Let's create a new transaction. So click new, select the journal names, go to lines. So let's select the main account. So let's say I'll select cash. Now in the department, I can see business and engineering. Let's say I'll select business. So you can see courses, MBA, MCOM, only two values are reflected. Similarly, if I select instead of business, let's say I'll select engineering. 
Now, if I come to courses, you can see triply and mechanically is allowed. If you see my dimension values for dimension courses, all the values are there. But at the time of posting transaction, based on the department that I select, those values will reflect in my courses. That is how you do financial dimension nesting. That's it for this video. Thanks everyone.